Okay, so on this one, we're factoring these three terms. And so, the, now it's really easy just to jump right in, you know, and just go, okay, yeah, here I go. Four W is gonna be two W, two W, and, and then 216, I don't know, let me use my calculator. If you do that, the ball game is over. You have lost almost before you even began. You're wrong. And, it, and it's just, it's not gonna make a comeback. Why not? What's, what's wrong? What am I doing wrong? First step you can't forget. Is there some number or letter in common to all three terms? And in this case, yes, there is. What is the number or letter in common to all three terms? Well, if you look at it for a second, uh, they're all divisible by two. I wonder if they're divisible. Right? You know, two goes into all of them. But actually, let's try four first. Does do they all divide by four? I think they do. Um, what what is this? One? Do I, let's see, do one over eight, do one. Yeah, fifty-four. Yeah, fifty-four. This one is three, and this one obviously is just one. So yeah. So so what does that mean? If so, what it, um, if if it's yes. Factor as one big parenthesis. Factor out the common with one big parenthesis. We put it that way. Factor out the common. Factor out like let me just write it. Keep changing my mind. Put the common part in the front and then one one big parenthesis like that. That's step one. So notice I'm going to put four in the front and one big parenthesis. We're going to go to the two parentheses in a minute. But first, we take out the four. And then what goes on the inside? Well, whatever works. Remember, four times what? We've done this kind of factoring before. This is a combo. We're going to do the old kind of factoring and then the new double parenthesis factoring. So be w squared. And to right to go back to that term. And four times minus 3w. We'll go back to minus 12w. And four times what? Well, we found it 54 there already. Minus 54, right? That four, which is in common, in common to all three terms, that common part goes in the front, the four, and then you put inside whatever will multiply to go back, back, and back, right? See how this, this means this is the same thing? If I was to take this four and go multiply, 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 it would go back, back, and back, like that. So that's the first term. That's step number one. So then step number two, now leave the common in the front and Break the one big parenthesis into two parentheses. So now we're going to work on this part. Now the four is still going to be in the front, but I'm going to work on this part now. So, well, how do we do that? Well, you remember, right? It's multiply, add, Multiply, add, multiply, right? Multiply, add, multiply. So we've got the four in the front. Two parentheses. Okay, now what's going to multiply? What multiplies to be W squared? Well, it's only W times W. That's all we can do. And what multiplies to be 54? Hmm, I don't know, it's probably a few things. Um, 54. It's going to be six. Just use your calculator. You know, just take 54 and divide by two, divide by three, and you'll get a two times 27. That's 54. And three times, I don't know, what is it? 18? Or, yeah, 18. Huh? If I use your calculator, divide by four, it'll go no. And divide by five, it'll go no. And divide by six, it'll say yes. 
six times nine is 54. And I think that's about it. One course, one times 54, but I think it's not gonna be that. All right, so it's one of those. Which of those, <clears throat> which of those can add to be negative three? It's gotta be the six and the nine. Right? Because two and 27 right here, that can't add to be to be negative three because it's got to add to be the middle. It's got to not only multiply to be the back term, negative 54, but it's got to add to be negative three. Three and 18 can't add to be three, but six and nine can if you make one of them negative. So six here, nine here, vice versa. The order doesn't matter because they're both just with a W in the front. Doesn't matter at all. Now, how are they going to add to be negative three? Remember the rule here? This minus is going to go right there. Sine in the middle goes on the bigger number. But right? nine is bigger than six, so the other one is positive. You see that? The sine in the middle, like why do, why do I call that the middle? Well, there's three terms, one, two, three. Here's the sine in the middle. That always goes on the bigger number. Nine is bigger than six. So those guys will multiply to be negative 54, right? Positive times negative is negative. And they'll add to be negative three, right? Because six take away nine adds up to be negative three. Um, that's our answer. We are done. You could check it for fun. Let me put it up here as the answer. Now that four has to stay in the front. That is part of the factoring. That's what we did on step one. And then the W plus six, and the W minus nine. You could switch the order in the parentheses. You could put the, you could put the minus nine first and then the plus six. But wherever the nine is, he has to be the negative one. Wherever the six is, he has to be the plus one. And um, and then that's it. We did that right. You could you could check on this part. Let, let's check on this part right here. Just for fun, let's check. So if I was to check this part right here, that W would go to both. It'd be W squared minus nine. Did I write the W goes to this guy. This guy. And then this guy goes to both, plus 6w minus 54. And then the two in the middle, see what they do? They make minus 3w, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. And then if you even wanted to put the four back in the front and now keep going with the check, then the four will have his turn, boom, boom, boom. You get 4w squared minus 12w minus 216, which is a check. It goes all the way back to the very beginning, it's correct. See, when we multiply out these parentheses, it becomes this, combine those two in the middle, then let the four have his turn, and boom, all the way back. This indeed is the correct answer. So there we go. So, so let me recap one more time, actually, before I close this one out. So the very first step, so you really need to get in this habit. The very first step, very first thing we always do is ask ourselves, is there something in common to all three numbers and or letters? Is there something that goes into all of them? Use your calculator and check. We found out they're all divisible by four. So if that's the case, you got to factor out that common piece and put one big parenthesis before you go on to the next step with the two parentheses. So I put the four in the front and I put the one big parenthesis and I put inside whatever would work to go back. And then I took the one big parenthesis and I broke it into the two with the multiply, add, multiply. I got that to work out. And remember, the sign in the middle always goes on the bigger number. And so there we go.